Hey guys and girls, welcome to Bus Town Part 5 in City Skylines. So, what did I say to you at the end of episode 4 about this parking lot? Look at it! It is stuffed! <laughs> it's completely stuffed. Yes, um, yeah, I was surprised uh, that it actually was used that much and uh, this park is uh, doing uh, its work uh, pretty well to this, uh, to this area, despite being a very small area. But uh, yeah, I noticed uh, that, uh, that the city really benefits from parking lots a lot. I mean, um, I also... And did I build in part 4 this one? I cannot really remember if I did so. Um, let me think. I also built one here because there was this train station. So I thought like, okay, build some commercial stuff at it. And I add also parking lots to it. So yeah, I think that um, if you want to avoid traffic issues, uh, then uh, creating uh, a lot of parking lots, uh, is, uh, especially in urbanized areas, is not a... Uh, you know a wrong thing to do I mean look look at this I mean these are completely full I mean there's no empty spot available it's like you know <laughs> this is like insane and it's just it's just in the middle of town basically it's it's this is not even it was not even really that planned it just you know it just uh, I just put it there and also this one at the uh, all these schools like the elementary school, the high school, and the university, it's also uh, stuffed. Anyway, uh, what am I planning to do now? You can see by the color of this uh, area is I want to put in some oil industry over here. Yes, oil industry, and I want to export it by ship. Uh, now you might know that, uh, let's get out of here, and that the shipping lanes do not really get to here. But we can make them go there by um, adding some lines. Now before doing so, I can only do that by pressing pause and remove this bridge temporary. Because otherwise I cannot draw that line and say like, let's go to ships. Where are you? Ships here. Ship path. And the only way of doing that is drawing that line straight from here to there, into here, like that. Now it says like outside of the area, so but that's okay because I can make that curve. And then let's say all the way up to here. If I want to make that area, well, let's say, yeah, around here. I think that will work. And further on, let's see. Technically, they can also come from this side, but then I have to meander through all this uh, river, so, and I'm not going to do that. So, okay, let's repair this uh, road. Uh, and also, aside from re repairing, let's make it also a little bit higher. So that ships can definitely go underneath it. So, okay, let's do that and say like uh, higher like that. And then just go in the air. That's a lot high. That's very high. Let me see how does this fare. 32 meters. 36, I think that will do. Let's connect it here. Yeah, I think ships can pass that. I think that's no problem. Now, let's make a curve from here to... Can we do that? From here to... Come on, we can do that. Yeah, we can do that. It is not going completely as I, how I want it to. It's a little bit jerky, this, but... Okay. Hmm, not entirely straight, but let's see, move it mod, a little bit moving around. Hmm, okay, this is not rocket science, so yeah. Theoretically, a ship should be able to pass underneath it. We will just see what happens, so don't know what is dangling around 
<laughs> it's a truck. <laughs> okay, it will fall. No, it will drive on. Okay. So, uh, about the oil industry. So, I want to put it here. Now, um, from the past, I've learned that you have to take uh, really uh, the space for it. Now, let's have a look at this road. I see some bumps. Uh, yeah, a lot of bumps in this road. Now, first of all, I'm going to take this entire road like that and say like I want to make it the same height as here. Okay, that's nice. Uh, okay, now let's let's see how is this? Whoa, whoa, holy smoke! Okay, so there is a difference in height. So let let me take this height as a template and just go there, there, there because I know this road has the same height. So yeah, we do a little bit of terraforming which nobody hurts um, and here we say like okay let's ooh, that's the wrong button you go away and put the strength a little bit lower and okay this can be uh, yeah this can go down it's okay yeah yeah okay first let, let us determine where this um, yeah where this um, export area will be I, I think this is the, the the right spot and of course i want to make um um well to give you a pointer um if you make like an industry make sure that your traffic makes as much right turns as possible so um in this case i would say um okay um let's make the alteration again to the area here because I want to put this um, cargo harbor on a peninsula sort of like this yeah because I also require the space uh, for it to uh, to sit on and also to give uh, uh, the space for the roads that are going towards it. So let's see how much space do I have left and still enough so I can still go a little bit further like that. And I think this will do nicely. Yeah, I think so. Okay, now let's do a little bit on this river like deepening it to make sure that these ships will pass through it i think that will be no real issue but yeah you never know just to be sure like that and also let's make the brush size a little bit not smaller but bigger yes yeah i think this will do pretty nicely you know just like yeah just like that maybe i even use a key wall uh, you know to key wall this off mm, yeah i think that's not a bad idea also mm, yeah like that like up on until here okay now let's get a key wall that will do nicely okay let's see uh, let's take the yeah this tool again now the brush string very low and make this like and yeah like that okay how does this look yeah, perfectly right yeah okay let's put this uh, harbor into here uh, where is it always have to look now, I can use this one with the train option mm, cargo hub uh, with the train option is that a is that an idea let me think well you know, better have it and not need it than need it and not having it. Maybe that's a good uh, 
yeah good thought so let's push it down here yeah that's fine and I immediately turn it off otherwise it costs money we don't like that and let's take the move it mod and select it and push it a little bit down to terraforma like that okay now we're going to work on this road first of all we take the touch it uh, mod which is this k sign over here it used to be over here this symbol but it has been replaced over here so touch this um, I can select this road and unhook it that means that I can basically now uh, remove it you know, by, yeah, like that and we can put like another road uh, at it so we are going to put like a let me see what would be a nice road I think the two lane one-way road that usually works fine um, let's see well let's take a straight line space already occupied okay anarchy on and here we go yes now this has to come from here uh, that is obviously so um, this is going to be an export area this so I'm thinking um, if this is going to be export and the oil area is here and the question is a little bit uh, how to well how to do this properly because if I just take a you know take the road from here then it has to pass like um, um, yeah this road and to be honest I don't want that no I don't want that so I'm going to make a overpass here mm, but Will I do it with this road or not? That's the question because you know I, I I kind of hate this road when I take it up into the air because it becomes so so thin, you know, it's so thin. So maybe I will take this road instead. Um, so let's say 10 meters. That is usually enough, and then go. Down, 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 down. Yeah, like that. So how does that look? Yeah, that looks okay. Okay, let's go to this and make a nice curve to yep to there. And also here we take again the two laner and how much units were these? Nine which is okay that would be like uh, let me see from here to there and then down like that and turn it around the, this this road this uh, highway road uh, looks a little bit i don't know better for some reason yeah okay uh, then the traffic will exit this place and where does this usually go it usually goes back to its uh, place of origin now um, I have to think uh, a little bit about this uh, first of all let's zone this place because it's going to be a industry area and despite being a big area it will not it will not mean like it will be a very big um, um, oil um, exporting area because uh, I know if you put too much of this stuff then it's like uh, going to create uh, crazy traffic and all that kind of stuff and I really don't want that nope I want to think this over um, if possible and I know it's that's kind of difficult especially when you only have like half an hour or so to make this episode so this might take uh, you know maybe a bit longer than uh, you know one episode because I want to do this right I want to think about this in the right way so um, okay what did I say about taking right turns okay now imagine if traffic is coming from this side although it can also come from this side so it depends a little bit um, yeah then I would say then a roundabout would be the most logical choice so um, yeah I guess so uh, I guess so uh, 
let's start from yeah this side i think from here okay let's take the big road and let's take this and let's take it upwards like that and like that and okay i already went a little bit too far so i go back a little bit okay now let's get let's get to the right side and i think this road needs to be can it be a roundabout at this point hmm i don't know i think yeah i think this soil has to be a little bit made more ex extensive otherwise the roundabout will not fit in here because usually with the amount of traffic that is involved uh, yeah you need a pretty well roundabout so let's make a roundabout uh, three lane three lane highway uh, yeah three lane highway so let's make it like this yeah shall we yeah that that's not bad yeah that's certainly not bad uh, we also can choose uh, to make like uh, bypasses in case of for example traffic that wants to go straight on and not go definitely over the roundabout but before doing that i need <laughs> again a little small space from here so let me have a look at this um, okay it is possible i just need to you know steal a little bit of space but it's okay i mean uh, why else do you have a terraformer? Yeah. Yeah, seems like okay now then in the middle we will say like we will create a four lane road that will be let me see like this one change and change change and change yeah okay now select the traffic manager and connect all this stuff up with ctrl s and here also control s and also here control s no lane switching anymore before the roundabout and let me see what to do more um about this uh, connection here okay i think i better can call this episode uh, preparation for the uh, <laughs> preparation for the uh, oil industry so let's connect this up and E no that will not work can I, can I not get under there yeah under there like that and under there like that yeah just to prevent the uh, roundabout for being disformed let's see I have this yes that's that's okay and then from here to here why does it give me this like this weird I don't know what it is. Um, let's turn the oh, the anarchy off. Um, let's take this road again because I deleted a part. So let's about doing it to here. And now let's say from here. No, it will now not touch. Space already occupied. How about this? Okay, maybe that's better. I don't know. Oh, come on. Don't be such a whoosh. Oh, 
Oh man, don't be such a, don't be such a whoosh. Okay, well, at the, you know what? Um, I think this is not so bad, except for that uh, I need to uh, turn this around, uh, but it's okay. Let's turn this around. You, okay, anarchy on. You go that way and you go that way. Now, look at the lane arrows. <laughs> Insanity. Okay, uh, everybody goes to the right. Right, whoa. Well, at least this works and it is without uh, anarchy, so this is not bad. We can also uh, use the movement mode to make this a little bit more straight. Now you see what happens there on that uh, road, but it, maybe it's caused by these roads, so I will remove these now. Okay, now let's see what happens when I move this again. Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Jeez. Okay, do that again. And turn it around again. Right, okay, move move it mod again. Attempt number two. Now let's take a closer look at this roundabout. What is happening to it? Uh, okay, that is that's nice. It stays nicely into shape. And uh, how about now? Uh, I, now I like it. Now I really like it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, yeah, I really like it. Oh. Okay, let's uh, do some traffic uh, stuff over here, like um, pick your lane and drive on. Uh, yeah, so also these options are already set. Yes, those are correct. Probably not here. Yeah, just as I thought. Oh, yep, and you can just drive on, that's okay. Here you can pick your lane, you can pick your lane, you can drive on, you can pick your lane, but you have to stop. Um, here you have to, no, here you can drive on, and you may pick your lane, and if you come from this road, you can also pick your lane. And here it's like, you can pick your lane, you can pick your lane, and this setting is okay. Yeah. Now here it's very simple. Everybody can drive on, but nobody is allowed to pick their lanes because the lane arrows are doing that for them and everybody can drive on. And this option removes also the traffic lights, which is very handy. Okay, everybody can drive on. Right, right, right. Okay, now let's also select this option and say, okay, no lane switching there. And if you come from this side, no lane switching there either. Now, to make them use this option faster, uh, I say like, increase the speed from the roundabout from 50 to 100. Let's see, 100, uh, yeah, to 50. 50 is fast enough more than fast enough and say on top here like uh, press the shift button 100 and 100 yeah and also if you go like out of here you can also drive 100 that way that's no problem uh, speed here stays 60 so I think this is a nice uh, roundabout and uh, yeah yeah, I've been talking now, building this roundabout for like uh, the whole time. And uh, I did not even play in pause mode. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so uh, let's let's do a, let's do a, okay, this episode uh, will take us uh, anything, uh, yeah, somewhat longer. No, no, I'm going to do it, uh, an, uh, you know, in episode six, because I don't like uh, to put uh, an episode of like 50 minutes uh, online. So I say to you guys, don't worry, uh, because when I upload this episode, you can immediately see episode six, which is following this one. And I will make a nice screenshot for this one. And uh, yeah, I will see you in episode six. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. And if you like the channel, please subscribe. 
And if you like this series, then uh, give it a thumbs up, a like, send me a comment, uh, you know, whatever. It's always fine. And also tips and suggestions are welcome. I also do city fixing. If you have a city that is completely gridlocked with traffic and you don't know what to do with it, send it to me. You can just uh, send me a link uh, to it in the uh, description in one of these videos. I always see them, so no problem with that. If I don't see them, then PM me just in game. I'm uh, sorry, uh, in YouTube, for example, because sometimes YouTube will see a link as spam, possible. So then, just uh, you know, uh, let me know. Okay. Thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you soon in part six. See you. Bye bye.